Uh, hi guys, welcome to this channel Zentech and Learning and today uh, today in this video uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the uh, issues which is happening to Dell application or the support assist application uh, related to drivers like generally we are not able to update any drivers in the Dell machine so how we have to perform the driver updates in case if we are not able to do that so first thing let's suppose if uh, we all know that there's a support assist application in the Dell machine so when you type here in the bottom there's an application which is called support assist simply you need to type support s u p p o r t support at the very bottom left hand side in the search icon and when you type support you have to just hit the enter the support assist application you will get it and at the very bottom you will see there is an option called there's an arrow pointing downward you have to click on it now i have uh, 11 or 12 updates for my machine I have to simply hit on update. So let's suppose if uh, you are not able to do any updates from right here, from this particular uh, support assist, you are getting any error message like unexpected error. Uh, you are unable to update any drivers on this machine, uh, on your machine. And then uh, what you have to do, do not worry. You have to simply cross this application. Now you have to go back to the uh, search icon and uh, you need to just type here Dell Dell update So when you type here Dell update you will see one application or uh, You can uh, you can just type Dell and you will see the couple of application and the Dell update or The Dell command update both are the same application So if you see any Dell update application simply open it up in my case My application is the latest one which is a Dell command update so simply you have to open this application and you need to go uh, go to the page and you have to click on check so this is another application Dell has introduced this application this is the latest application which is designed only for updating the drivers so for my machine there are uh, total updates of 11 and uh, simply if you if you guys are going to hit on install what will happen it will start it will start it it will be updating all the driver updates on your machine so this is another way where you can update all the drivers without any issue and let's suppose this application and how you can uh, pin this application at the very bottom so let's suppose you are not coming here again and again you are searching for this app you can just right click on this application and then click on pin to the taskbar so let's suppose if I'm closing from here and uh, the next month because the updates generally comes after a one month or the two month so let's suppose the next month when you want to update your drivers you can simply just double click on this icon so this is going to be always here and uh, this is for very easy for me and simply I have to click on check it will let you know all the updates and then simply you can update all the drivers by just going at the bottom there's a install button click on install and then all the updates will be done let's suppose if this application is also not working so there's something going wrong inside your machine in that case what you need to do you need to go to the services there's an option uh, sorry you when you type here in the search icon services this particular option and when you just uh, hit on open you will see all the services which are running in your machine so generally Microsoft required some services and which should be running in a in a background some services should be on a standby mode so these all the services which are uh, controlling your uh, uh, you know the software so this particular Dell client management service make sure this particular service I'm talking about which is used by the Dell application this sh service should be running if it is uh, if you see under the status if it is showing the service is disabled or the services is not running then none of the application will be working associated to Dell all right so if let's suppose this application is disabled so what you need to do you need to just right click on it when you right click click on the properties and when you click on the properties you will see here disable some cases what happens by default the service is disabled in some cases so in that situation you will see here disable if it is showing here disable then you have to select automate and then you have to click on apply and then okay so that's how you can uh, start the service again all right so now I'm closing it up because uh, mine is working fine 
So this is about in this video and if you have any concern related to Dell machine and please do mention in a comment section. And guys, this is the complete, uh, you know, the troubleshooting uh, tutorial for your Dell machine or the HP machine. So please do subscribe our channel and uh, please do like and share the video with your colleague. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Bye bye. We'll see you in the next video.